bulk of bye games, their first seven games of the year. They've been on the road. They've yet to play a home game. As we are underway, Gators win the opening tap. It's Fleming well off the mark early, and this is tapped out of play. Will be Florida basketball. Boring two of the last three games. Seemed like a more confident player for the Gators offensively the last week or so. Early post-touch here for Castleton. Well, back in on Gresham, a transfer from Houston. Played in the Final Four last year, and Castleton will get two. The issue against the Sooners was turnovers, especially 500 career points for Colin Castleton, and he gets it at the free throw line. So right now, an even Steven 500. Take a look at the starting five for Texas Southern. John Walker is their leading scorer coming into tonight. A Texas A&M transfer. Again, a team that has not won this year. They have not played a home game. They're coming off a loss to Louisiana Tech, which was one of their worst performances of the year, according to their head coach, Johnny Jones, in his fourth season. Walker underneath, and it's Gresham with one on the timer. You know, somehow, an A&M transfer. Gresham, transfer from Houston, started his career at UMass. McKissick from the logo, sticks it. Defender got caught. He comes with all this energy. And Appleby indeed coming off the bench. So, Mark, this is the third different lineup the Gators have played this year. So enter in Fleming in for Appleby. I'm not sure it matters a whole lot, right. Kyle, because Florida doesn't play that many bodies. Everybody's going to get minutes. Deruji along, too. When I asked Mike White, who's offensive rebound, don't force anything up. Open look out of three. Jordan Gilliam buries the tray. Yeah, Fleming got caught. Great find. Team that is last in the league to start in three-point percentage in the SWAC as Castleton has the prop response with a long two. Oh, has had a lot of success. I had a chance to ask him what advice would you give your younger self? He said, control the controllables. Put back goes in. Under order, just four minutes in, he's on the floor. Coming in for Fleming. Jones and Appleby struggled from the arc against the Sooners. McKissick, give him another. Another three for Brandon McKissick. At a dribble. A takeaway. Jones all alone for the lay-in. Really making it hard for Texas Southern to reverse the ball because they are denying the ball on top. Walker, tough to get a look early. Inside, off the window for Nicholas. Wow, what a... Walker, off the window. Now... Shot clock waiting down. Felder reversal style. Walker again, another touch, and he'll get fouled. Let's go back to the last. That has not been the case here in the first eight minutes. They're getting missing a lot of people. <laughs> Rebound underneath goes to Nicholas, and a reset. Here's the aforementioned P.J. Henry. She's, he's the motor for this team offensively. Did struggle against Louisiana Tech. He's also their third best scorer. At 21 against BYU. Henry, long two with only two on the timer. Took it home, so don't have a true backup to that five. Here's Henry, again deep in the shot clock. A difficult look, has another long two. Yeah, do that we have not seen often. So don't get consumed with making a steal. Get down and play solid D. Gresham met by Appleby. Over the top, Nicholas with the floater. I mean, Nicholas is active, isn't he? In his career. And I said that wrong. He's 11 points a game. Six trying to get the takeaway. Henry had it taken away. Gators on a leak out. McKissick bobbles, slices through. Got fouled. 
What I want. And you just take. That block was the 72nd in the conference in rebounding. Second in blocks. What an outstanding start for the first seven games of the year. Backdoor feed inside a two hand flush for Hopkins. Mm -hmm. Nice job of Tech. Gators now two of seven from the arc. Quick first oh. step and a thunderous finish from Nicholas. What? Coaches don't want to admit this, but the, the game, the season is played in five, six, seven game stretches. And after the newness of the season, there's Jones again with another up. pick six. And another slam. Seven of their last eight field goals. Another backdoor find, Gilliam, cutting past McKissick to the bucket. Yeah, as well as Fleming. Yeah. John Jones, the leaner in the lane. Gresham, so strong underneath. 6'9", 240. Yeah, this is Southern. You have to sense there's a lot of excitement on that bench right now. Castleton rises up. Got fouled at the apex. We get two shots. Well, when you talk about rim protection for TZ at the rim for Castleton tonight. But again, that's the norm. Felder, strong to the cup. Nice little reverse pivot. P.J. Henry, coast to coast, the fend off and the put back for Barnes. The, C other, the guards have to cover. Castleton, double comes, still able to finish. A double case is in, whips out Kennedy. Felder, will I and fly, well off. Gat kick charges in. Well, if you want to earn the trust of your head coach, Walker, on a leak out. Well, I saw Appleby go after that. I'm not sure how he missed that. And Gilliam in transit sticks the three. Here from beyond the arc. Ends a scoring drought that was nearing three minutes. Appleby finds Toon Gat kick underneath. I'll say this is on the floor. That is the Sep Juco transfer from Trinity Valley Community College in the state of Texas. Taff. See, no points in the last three minutes. Another backdoor cut. And underneath, it's Henry. Here's Appleby, scoreless in the half. Felder spins in. Rolls off, Gat kick trying to utilize that length, but goes out and Texas Southern can hold for the final shot. As again, you look at that 0-7 and, and that is not the whole story for this team. Only three to play, Henry, the pull up. He's got it. 10 point lead at the half for Texas Southern. Best win of the year. Another backdoor cut, and it's Hopkins. And Texas Southern starts the second frame, much to the basket, wide open. John Jones throws it away. Head of the field, Fleming rises up, will lay it home. That's the only bright spot for Florida in the first half. They were John Walker, the Texas A&M transfer. Indeed, his third. Wow, he missed DeRuji wide open underneath. Castleton up high off the glass. Had to readjust in midair. DeRuji gives it up. McKissick back door. DeRuji the slam. Well, Florida finally goes, okay, if you can. It's only four for Florida. Henry the fendoff with five. Henry with four. Walker with one, gets the roll. Well, not known as a three-point shooter, that's... Well, all year, it's been one of their staples under Johnny Jones. First in the swag, top 60 nationally. Hopkins to the cup, scores. Now that's taking advantage after you... Castleton with eight tonight. 
Appleby is yet to score. That changes. That was creative. <laughs> nice little. Just trying to get it back, but Henry somehow, some way, comes up with it. Frantic pace. Quick pop a shot is in for Nicholas. Boy, has he been impressed. Five players on the verge of double figures for the Tigers. Five with eight right now. Dispersed scoring. Again, deep in the shot clock. Hopkins gives it up. Nicholas up and around McKissick for two. Yeah, I think players have not offered up from three here in the first six and change of the second. Paint touch, Castleton. Nice control to float that one in. The line, the Gators have never lost to a SWAC school. They're 26 and 0. Appleby, the takeaway, got fouled. That's where John Jones has in the, the player. And that ends a streak. Gilliam. Walker behind the back, Nicholas with five. Backs in the spin and the touch. Well, right now, he's the best player on the floor. Ninth giveaway. Patient half court sets we've seen from the Tigers tonight, getting looks late in the shot clock. And looks for this man, Nicholas, who has a charge. It's a great job. Austin got a chance to come back to his home state. Castleton wow. got pinned by Nicholas. Living up to the big stage here in Gainesville. Gilliam, cross court pass, Henry, he got it. What a great find by Gilliam. There. Get the feeling they had to have that one from Jones. Jones only a second attempt tonight. Does not have a three-point make as Henry zipping in. It's now a 19 in all phases. 7-0 Tiger run. Now shooting 60% here in the second frame. Had to have it. Nice feel and kick out that time. Three tonight. He has all three made trays. Upstairs! <laughs> Time finish from the hard to the basket. Fleming the fend off, Castleton the flush. I feel like now we're watching. Nicholas into the paint, Walker and a foul. Single digits. Here you see the Walker splits a pair. But underneath, it's Gresham. Ball is kind of bounced out. McKissick in isolation. Underneath, we'll head to the line. Now this is the other way that could be. Daruji wow. can't find the stick back and nothing out of that trip. Taruji, you bet. See, that's a good decision by Fleming, who stopped. He won in the last two games combined from three. Hopkins, Henry with one. He <laughs> buries it. How good has he been in late? Back to 19 points in everything. And as we mentioned, they don't have a home game until January 8th. Yeah, their first two conference. Just lost it, not fouled by Gilliam. 13 of which came in the first half. Now with only three, was saddled with early foul trouble that can't force the issue, get a steal, but their free throw shooting has been atrocious. Dominance on the glass, defensive stop, scoring late in the clock in the paint. Gilliam, tough look with one. Gresham cleans it up. And another second chance opportunity. 16 now points in the paint. We saw that 41 to 19 edge and rebounding, 14 to 6 on the offensive glass.
Fleming. The Gators will have a completely different team in North Florida because North Florida is a three-point shooting team. Not sure what happened here. Coming up the floor. Yeah, just an inadvertent elbow. Yeah. I, I, I'm, first of all, I'm not sure that the spark for this team. McKissick. Try to get points with the clock stopped. Some fans heading to the exits in the game. And then you play an opponent who's probably played their best game of the year. And that has been battle tested. We've said it over and over again. They've played some really good teams for the first seven. And they've come close on multiple occasions. Walker cruising through. Defense and don't play the last five. Your thoughts, Mark, on just the overall offense tonight and just from Florida tonight? Well, early on, they, they I thought it was pretty good, and they just missed shots. Yeah. And when you miss shots, it makes everything look bad. McKissick hits the three, and he's hit four tonight. He's four of six from three. 0 of 3 tonight for Myron Jones. To the arc, Jones again. And Taruji underneath. I've got to believe the foul problems by Taruji was really important in the first half. Uh, he may be the one guy Florida cannot do without right now. Again. Mike White not able to utilize his depth and get the opportunity for others to see minutes. Tonight, it was all about Texas Southern and Jordan Carl Nicholas. Dominant. Led for over 31 minutes as Hopkins goes to work with one. And a shot clock violation, final eight seconds here. In the NCAA tournament last year in Texas Southern, their first win of the year, a shocker in the college basketball landscape. Texas Southern with a big program win, defeat the 20th ranked Florida Gators here in Gainesville, 69 to 54. It's one of those dangerous teams that you play in one of these bye games. Well, for Texas Southern tonight, what Henry gave them, Nicholas and Walker, three double-figure scores. The visitors shoot 54%, while the Gators only shoot 38.